Hi everyone, I'm Luke Hopper, broadcasting live from Point Blank Music School in East London. Welcome to this EMC session in the Academy of Electronic Music, brought to you by Google, Armada Music, DJ Mag and Point Blank. We're coming up to the end of week two of this exclusive Hangout series, and we hope you've been enjoying the event as much as we are. Uh, this week we've been looking at bass lines, chords and melodies, and it's been uh, really, really insightful. Um, so let's get cracking and uh, introduce you to your tutor, Ski Okafor. Hi Ski, how you doing? Not too bad. <laughs> Hi Luke. Um, I'm course developer and tutor at Point Blank and I'm putting the seven winners and you through your paces on the electronic music composition course via this series of exclusive hangouts. Remember, if you want to try this course for free, head on over to www.pointblankonline.net forward slash free hyphen stuff and click free core samples. Cool, so uh, what have you got in store today? <coughs> okay, well, uh, we've kind of covered chords, bass lines, um, scales, key signatures. We're now going to kind of focus a little bit more on creating parts and uh, just look at sort of rhythms and melodies. Um, not really focusing on beats, it's more on the sort of the musical aspects. Um, but yeah, we're going to be look at just, you know, look, look at, uh, we're going to examine a track. We've had a, um, a request actually from Ramon, which is uh, for a deconstruction. And uh, the track is Heat Beats Chow Main. Um, I think they came out on, on Armada a while ago. So we're going to have a look at that and we're going to just see, sort of see some of the rhythms that are rhythmical elements that are going on in that. Um, and then I'm going to shoot over to another project and actually try jamming down some ideas myself cool. and just look at how we can, you know, just kind of go through that kind of writing process um, and see how we can maybe kind of choose some, choose some ideas. Um, and then to finish off, we're going to have a look at uh, or have a listen to um, the tasks that were set in the last Hangout, which was the uh, remix of this Farouk Savanchi featuring Josie Wake Up track. Um, I think I had five, five amazing remixes that have come in, so we're going to check that out at the end. Cool. Um, so, yeah, first of all, just say hi to the guys. How are you doing? Hi, great. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, you have a good session yesterday with uh, Ian Pooley. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw was he, I saw he was showing some of his sort of hardware like synths and drum machines and things. Yeah, very <laughs> jealous. Very jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, Ryan. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, well, as ever, I'm going to uh, share the screen so you guys can see what I'm doing. Uh, let's just get onto the desktop here. There we go, and I'm going to switch over to live. So, this is the track. Uh, I'm going to just bring up now a screenshot of uh, the cover. There we go. Um, are you all familiar with this track, or is it just Ramon? Yeah, no, I've heard of it. Okay, cool. Well, this is the track. Uh, I'm just going to close this now. And there are three main sections. There always seem to be three sections. I don't know why, but there are three <laughs> main sections I want to look at. Uh, this is the first one. Uh, this is my sort of recreation. I've sort of taken elements of the beat, but every, everything else is recreated, so it doesn't sound exactly the same as the original. Um, but there's, this is the first section. Here, there's a really nice um, kind of arpeggio that's going along with a pad chord. And then it goes to this section here. And then it goes to this more melodic section here. So they're the three sections. Um, what I'm also interested in is this last chord. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the parts in uh, and then we'll just have a look at this last chord because it's, um, it's basically a dominant seventh chord, uh, which is something we didn't cover last week or the week before. So um, I'm just going to, I've got push here, just got the beat here and first of all I'm going to put in this arpeggio section, uh, just get up my keyboard. I should probably just say what key signature we're in. We're in D minor. Which has got one flat, which is this B flat. Um, can anyone tell me what the relative major of D minor is? Anyone out there? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, three back, right? So it's an A. Three flat. Three up. Three oh, semitones three up. up. Oh. So D minor. Then it's an F. Exactly, mm -hmm. F major. Mm -hmm. 
And this is going to have a bit of relevance in a minute as well, so uh, stay tuned. Okay, so let's put in this arpeggio. <coughs> Pretty simple stuff, but already we've got a kind of rhythmic, kind of melodic element to this track. So let's look at the chords now. It's got a D minor here. Put that in. Just made it there. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to quickly stop there and um, just have a look at this last chord. Um, it's going to shoot over here. Now this last chord, and this, even though there's an extra note, this is a seventh chord. So I'm just going to quickly go back to basics. Um, if we just go back to our straight triad here, this is our C major triad, we looked at a major seventh, which is just where we add the seventh note here, and we looked at a minor seventh as well. So if we're in C minor, we just add that seventh. But if we go to um, if we go to say F major, which is the relative major of D minor that we're in at the moment, and we play the five chord, this is our one chord here, and then we go to the five chord, one, two, three, four, five, and now we play the seventh note, we get this B flat. And this is called a dominant seventh, it's the five chord, but it's the seventh, and it's different to the major seventh that we had. It's called a dominant seventh, and it kind of has a feeling of resolution. It wants to resolve back to the one chord. So it's kind of a very, very kind of classical sound, but it's, um, you'll find it in so many chord sequences. A typical one is just like a one, four, five. So we have a one, four, five. But for the five chord, we also play this B flat. This is what we're getting in this tune. Um, but because we're in D minor, uh, this five chord, or the, the uh, C seven chord, also feels like it can resolve to the D minor. So sounds a little bit complicated, but uh, that's kind of how it works, and that's kind of the sound of this track. It's got a really distinctive sound. So let's just play this, this um, section again. And the next, next part to look at is this distorted bass sound. that in. <coughs> now in the original track, um, it kind of, there's like another sound, it's almost like a bass sound or it could be like chopped up samples, but it's basically playing off that D, that kind of pedal D. So um, I'm just going to sort of simulate that with this kind of sound I've got here. So let's just play that. Really sort of syncopated sound. So that's working really nicely. And uh, what actually happens for the next section is that uh, this kind of pedal D carries on, and uh, then that arpeggio and the pad sound from the first bit come in again. So let's just play that now. So that's the first two main sections. Uh, then we've got this more melodic section. So I'm just going to show you how that's built up. And it's basically, um, well, it's, it's very similar to the first section, but there's just a few changes going on. So the first one is in the arpeggio section. Just notice that rather than just playing the single notes, I'm actually playing, adding this extra note here. These are intervals of a third. So now let's go to the pad sound, and I'm going to bring up the chords for this. Just 
so you can see what I'm playing. In fact, I'm just going to go straight in and record this in. Notice that kind of seven chord at the end. But just for anyone that might get, be getting a little bit confused about this A, there's also this A in there as well, which is like a sort of sixth. It's kind of giving it that, we call it like a cluster chord, it's giving it quite a kind of dark sound. So this is really cool, but when we, when we add the bass, it really starts coming together. Here we go. <laughs> and then finally, we've got this really nice piano melody that goes over the top. Let's put that in now. Really, really kind of beautiful sequence. And you know, it's kind of really opened up here, but then we can just go back to the kind of dark section, the pedal D here. So yeah, that's uh, the main elements of the track. And um, just looking at the chords here, um, even though I was talking about uh, this seven chord as a dominant or the five chord, because it's, we're in D minor, um, we're resolving to the one chord which is, uh, which is D minor. So this C7 with this added six uh, is actually the seven chord. So um, yeah, just so you're aware of that. So uh, cool, I'm just going to head back to the guys and uh, see if Ramon's there. Yeah, you're at, yeah. amazing. You came, you came straight up. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, I mean, can you just tell me why uh, you chose that track? Yeah, I love this track. Um, I think Heartbeat is um, has um, his absolutely uh, own style, and yeah, I love it. That's the one uh, one of the tracks that uh, inspired me a lot, um, and I love it um, in this tracks from Heartbeat. Um, uh, they they use a lot of um, lovely um, vocal shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. One cool. of my favorite tracks. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. Well, um, that's that track. I'm now going to just try to come up with some stuff myself. So uh, I've got a project that uh, I was working on. Well, just kind of it's really just very simple. It's just a beat and a bass line and some chords and a, and a lead sound. So um, the project is called. Uh, Oh, let's change the riff machine. But uh, rather than being a kind of plug-in, I'm trying to use myself as a riff machine. <laughs> so, um, okay, so this is just the beat to start off. I'm just going to mute the other elements. Okay, I might have to turn this up a little bit. I'm just going to turn up myself. Okay, so I just put in uh, a bass sound. Well, first of all, I put in kind of Rhodes riff and then a bass sound. This is, this is my sort of first attempt. I did this yesterday. So, we're in D minor, I'm just going to put the uh, virtual keyboard on again, there we go. So, same key signature as the last track. And um, <coughs> what I'm just working on is just trying to um, just come up some, some, with some ideas and I'm just playing chords and notes that are in D minor. So it's the time to sort of let yourself go, just kind of have some fun and then when you hit something just press record. Push is fantastic for this because mm. it just allows you to kind of put things in, put ideas in really quickly. So um, let's just go for the first one. I don't know what I'm going to play. Quite like that. Let's 
go on to the bass sound now. Okay, so let's just go for a different one now. Maybe try something that's got a bit more of a chord progression. Let's go again for that. I uh, don't think I actually pressed the button hard enough. Let's go again. Okay. So let's maybe sort of try to follow that. Cool, let's try one more. And you notice that it's kind of really good when you play uh, in between uh, the chords. So not necessarily just play exactly the same rhythm as the chords, but just try to get some kind of syncopation between it. You know, it kind of you can get kind of more of a funky sound. So uh, let's try one more. Okay. Okay. Cool. So what's really good now, with push especially, is that we can then flip between all these sections. So I quite like this one here. Just try some melody ideas. Try this one. <clears throat> and then we can actually swap between these two. So maybe I want to keep that melody, then we could try that um, bass and chord pattern we had before. That works pretty well. Let's try it with the first one. So I thoroughly recommend this just as a way of getting ideas down, you know, because it's just, it's all about capturing yourself live, you know, I mean, this is why it's really good to be able to play the keyboard because, uh, you know, you can actually try to realise your riff ideas um, and melodies uh, through your hands, you know, you can actually, rather than sort of having to draw things in, you know, you can actually kind of get those ideas. It doesn't necessarily have to be you, you could get someone else in that, that can play the piano, you know, but, I, you know, if you can do it yourself, I think it's uh, a real advantage. So uh, I'm just going to shoot back to you guys now and um, yeah, just be really interesting to hear, you know, how you go about coming up with uh, riffs and melodies yourself. Uh, um, I can't remember who it was, but um, one of you said that you kind of had a dream and you kind of, you dreamt this melody and you woke up and put it down. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did. It was you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is this something that happens regularly for you? Uh, uh, I I always have melodies in my head. For example, I I may be in the bus or in the train, so and I I have an idea. I just grab my cell phone immediately and just record it. Yeah. And then later on, I just try to create something. Yeah. Starting from it, that happens to me. Yeah, re regularly. Yes. Again, I think that's I, I re really recommend. You know, if you've something got something that I do, hundred percent record stuff on the phone, on the train, yeah. on the bus, yeah, all yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. something I do as well. But I've been caught once humming <laughs> and I look like a right weirdo. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Well. <laughs> <laughs> when you're a kind of multi-million selling artist, no one's yeah, going to care. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be on a private jet. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. It always, I always get inspiration from melodies when I'm in the shower, you know, when I just can't reach my computer. <laughs> it's, it's 
so annoying. <laughs> yeah, well, I think it's it's a really interesting subject. You know, the whole thing about inspiration mm. and. Um, you know, it's uh, <coughs> Armand was talking about that. You know, it's like, what do you do? And you just, you know, you're not having fun. You know, you recommend you're just going to go and play PlayStation or make a yeah. sandwich or something. But um, I think it's really good to do other things throughout the day. You know, don't just kind of get up and think, I've got to be in a studio. I've got to be making stuff. You know, try try some, just go for a swim, go for a walk. You know, listen to some other other music. You know, go to an art gallery, whatever. You know, but it's really good just to sort of take your, take yourself away from the computer sometimes. Um, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. when, when I see a sunset, um, many ideas come to my head. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah, a sunset is uh, really lovely. <laughs> you see, you know, you probably um, get a lot more sunsets than us. You know? <laughs> 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 we, we, need to, we need to get away. But um, okay. cool, I'm gonna, I think now's the time to listen to your tracks and uh, listen to this remix. Yeah. Um, so cool. let's just uh, bring up the project. Oh, I clicked on don't save. I've just lost all those oh. ideas. Never mind. <laughs> sure I can live without them. Um, okay, so first of all, let's just um, <coughs> check out the key signature of this track. I'm just going to play the original. Uh, let's just get the keyboard up. We're in E flat minor for this. I think all of you but one got that, but uh, then then realised afterwards. So we'll talk about that in a minute. And the BPM was 132. So um, let's just go straight in uh, with uh, Aaron's track, and uh, I'll just quickly find what did you write? You wrote to me. Uh, okay, so this is it was you, Aaron, wasn't it, that said that uh, you did you worked on it and then. Afterwards, realized that you're actually working in a different key. Yeah, yeah. The, I I started working um, without listening to the the, the the real track, and so yeah. that was that was like a little challenge for me. And then I realized it was a different key, but yeah, I, I thought it didn't sound uh, bad yeah. with the key, the key, you know. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. let's 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 check it out because uh, it does work, um, which is great. So uh, here we go. Here's your track. Kind of tempting us there, you know. Why does it stop there? <laughs> <laughs> we want to hear the beat coming. Uh, that's a quick idea. <laughs> I didn't have I didn't have a lot of time to finish it, really. So I'm sorry for that. It's cool, <laughs> but um, I can quickly tell you why it does work. Uh, it seems to me that you are in B flat. Oh, sorry, D flat major. Uh, okay, uh, let's go back mm -hmm. on. The... I think you're playing in C flat. C flat, I guess. C I don't remember C flat. I think C it, flat? it sounds to me like it was D flat. C sharp. Okay, D flat or C sharp. I, I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. But basically, uh, because the actual song's in E flat minor, uh, if you've mm -hmm. thought of E flat minor as the Dorian, which is which comes mm -hmm. from uh, as this playing the scale of the second degree of D flat major, so why it kind of works you know it just gives it much more of a kind of majory feel but um, mm -hmm. great work anyway so uh, Thank you. let's listen to the uh, Adoriani track here we go wake up You are 
Oh, it's really nice. Um, I can. It, it's funny now. We've got to the second week, and we've uh, you know we've had like two or three tasks from you guys because I can kind of see a thread that is going through your productions. And uh, I think with with you guys, you know, you kind of you uh, move your chords quite regularly. I mean, it seems to me like there's like a change almost like every kind of couple of beats or something, um, which is really nice. And it's a really distinctive sound that you've got there. Um, it just seemed to me that maybe the chords weren't syncing totally. I mean, I think that the, the vocals in time, but I'm not sure if the chords were harmonizing the vocal in the right places. Uh, it felt like yeah. it just needed to hit the one chord just um, kind of at the start of the four or eight bars or something. Um, but I mean, overall, I think it's got a really good sound to it. And uh, I think you did really well. Thanks. Yeah. Cool. So um, let's just go back now and uh, listen to the uh, Piccolo track. Here we go. Actually, just quickly, I'll just read out what you said. You said this is a real pleasure to work with this. And you still think it needs a lot of work. but. Um, but uh, you know you really kind of enjoy working on it. So, and I see you've called it the uh, Piccolo bootleg as well. So, uh, let's just keep playing. Focused only on the now Spiritual hibernation That's me And I wanna know Bass line is really good. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's got a good feel to it. It's got a great tight yeah, sound yeah. to it, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. You're a living meditation. Focused on. Most emotional. <laughs> Killer. Great work. Yeah. Well, look, uh, I'd love to play the whole thing. We've got to, we've got to uh, press on with the other tracks, but. Um, yeah. It's a really nice slow build though. It's really, really nice. Really, really nice. You know. Thank you guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, did, it, did it come quite quickly, that? Uh, I played around a bit, but then I kind of underpinned the, the chords and stuff and it worked out really good. Yeah. So it's one of the help from you guys, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to hear. But yeah, yeah, I really love the, uh, the, you know, the piano in there. It sounds great, mm. you know, and really good kind of contrast in sections. So. Fantastic. Thanks, cool. So uh, let's move on to uh, Ramon's track. How you doing, Ramon? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Uh, okay, so let's go to yours and uh, let me just see if. Um, well, it seems to me, just from what you wrote, that you love acapellas. You love being given acapellas to work on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, we'll, we'll get on. You me a lot, uh, the acapellas. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, well, let's, let's have a listen. Okay.
went for the piano again. <laughs> Love this. Yeah. <laughs> Love that chord there, it's great. Killer chord. <laughs> you wake up, you wake up, my feelings are wake up, wake up. Really good. Yeah. Really, really good. <laughs> Thank you. Cool, well. <laughs> Look at him, he's blushing. <laughs> 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 That's uh, cool. Uh, very nice indeed. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Um, it really good, yeah. There's that bit where you kind of, sounds like you kind of chop up the vocals a mm. bit. Uh, what did you do for that? Is, yeah. that? is that like a delay effect or is that a sample? How did you do that? Yeah, it, um, it's it's sample. Uh, I, I cut uh, different parts out of the uh, vocal and um, yeah, I built the vocal tube. I exported in, uh, it in uh, the wave that I, uh, yeah. wave file, sorry. Um, um, yeah, that is it. <laughs> Fantastic. Also, not not a delay or sampler, whatever. Cool. Great. Well, um, brilliant work. We've got one more to go for now, which is uh, Ryan's track. And um, yeah, the magic number, 138. You sped it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll try my best. <laughs> 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 okay, let's uh, let's check it out without further. And this is you've you've kind of gone for an uplifting vibe on this, yeah. Yeah. Probably a good fan that a lot of heads are nodding. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked. So, um, this, uh, the only shame for me about this is that the vocal doesn't come back in again, but uh, you know, you, uh, I'm sure you've kind of, uh, you could easily kind of. Um, you bring it back in. I literally, I, I got chords down last night and I woke yeah. up this morning and wasn't happy with them, so I had to redo the whole thing at 7 o'clock this morning <laughs> and finish yeah. it up. But that's a good sign, you know, because it's, you know, it, to, to be able to decide that, you know, you want to change something, it's, uh, you know, it can be quite demoralizing sometimes when you've been, sp you've been up all night working mm. on something and then it's like, no, actually, I'm just going to go for it again. And it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a kind of bold move to better do that. And that's good. Yeah. Um, but I think, yeah, it seems I've read a few comments and uh, it seems like you've got some sort of fans out there that were after some uplifting stuff from yeah, you. Yeah, I think uh, after the last one that I've done, I thought, right, I better get to it now. <laughs> so sure Give the people what they want, Ryan. <laughs> That's it. Wiki Woo! Well. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Fantastic work. Well, um, I just want to, before I sort of hand back over, hand back to Luke, I just want to mention a couple of things. Uh, I just want to remind, remind everyone about the free uh, section um, where every, for every Hangout I'm uploading some MIDI files and some loops and also Soundation files as well. So uh, let me just uh, quickly shoot to that now. Uh, here we go. So here we go. This is, this is the session. I'm not sure if you can hear it. I'm just going to play it now. So obviously the sounds aren't kind of right there, just the internal sounds, but you're going to have, I've just basically took, taken the MIDI files and put them there. So 
um, you can have some fun with that. And uh, if you just get head over to uh, the free stuff section, uh, you have to register to be able to download these. But if I scroll down, uh, you can see all these files. So don't forget about that. <coughs> um, and yeah. Yeah, I think also for that, it'd be great to see people watching at home, interacting, posting up on Google+. Plus. Yeah. Know, it'd be really good to see some more people getting involved, definitely. Yeah, totally. I mean, there's enough materials there for you, you know, for all of you guys to be able to do, do your own remixes, you know. Yeah, 100%. So, um, and yeah, I mean, that's uh, the end of week two. That's the end of week two. And we've got some really exciting things happening for next week. Yeah. Um, we're going to be, we're actually going to be getting a live <coughs> vocalist in. Okay. Which is going to be great. We're going to be doing a hangout on Monday with her. Uh, all will be revealed. <laughs> um, and then on the Friday, where she's actually going to be coming into the studio and she's going to be, we're going to have the uh, little sort of mini vocal booth set up Fantastic. and a mic and we're actually going to be recording. And uh, all of you guys are going to be involved in that session so you can all have your input uh, really in that. So that's going to be really cool. Mm. And also on the Wednesday, uh, we've got uh, trans legend Mike Coglin. Yes, we have. Involved in the Hangout and he's going to be um, giving us a live appraisal of all your winning tracks. Um, so that's going to be great. And then after, you know, from what he says, you'll then have a week to kind of make any tweaks that you might need to. Mm. So um, I'm really looking forward to next week. Yeah, it's going to be a big one. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's it. We approach the end of, of week two. Um, you know, thanks again to Ski and to all the guys. Again, you know, I have to say, really, really impressed. Everything that you guys are doing is, is spot on. Really yeah. good work. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, you know, I can't believe how, how well we're doing and how fast we're going through it. Um, we hope you're enjoying it as much as we are. Uh, the next EMC session is going to be on Monday, as Ski said, at 3 o'clock UK time. Um, and in the meantime, if you do want to get your hands on uh, all of our latest free uh, production classes, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash point blank online. Have a great, great weekend and uh, we'll see you next week. Goodbye and uh, we'll see you then. Thanks for watching.